How's it going, guys? I'm Mike Dwyer from the Bunker Recordings and BetterMixes.com, and I've got another cool plugin to show you today. And this one's called Evo In by Flux. So what this is, is a phase rotation device. So we all know about the polarity button on pretty much any channel strip or EQ plugin or whatever, which is this little guy right here, which flips the polarity 180 degrees. And you probably all know how much better multi-miked sources sound when everything is properly in phase. But I'm sure you've run into the case where you're flipping the polarity button and neither really sounds great. Either way seems to be lacking some body. And that's where this plugin comes in. Instead of just flipping 180 degrees, this lets you go anywhere in between. So let's see this in use on some drum tracks. So real quick, let's take a look at our overhead and our snare top, and we will bypass Evo in, and let's hear what we got. And let's open up our EQ real quick, and let's just flip this polarity button. So it sounds a little bit better with the phase flipped, but it's still not quite there. We're still losing some of the body of the snare top mic. So now let's turn Evo in on. Oh, and I'll bypass these reverbs for now, just so we can hear it more clearly. So one quick note here, just by the way that this works, it creates some crazy phase stuff going on, even if you have it set to zero. So because of that, I usually like to put it on both sources, in this case, both the snare top and the overhead even though my snare top one is just set to zero. Just so that way the funny kind of phase business that's going on is the same on both channels before we start our adjustments. I don't fully understand all the technical stuff behind this plugin, but I'm pretty sure it uses a series of all pass filters. Someone correct me if I'm wrong on that, but all filters create phase rotation. So that's just why it messes with the phase a little bit just by putting it on. But anyway, let's go back to our overhead here. We will set this back to zero and dial it in from scratch. Now one little trick that I think makes it really easy to dial this in is to turn the knob and look for the worst sounding position and then just hit this button to rotate it 180 degrees which is usually then the best sounding position. Might have to tweak it a little bit from there but it gives you a good starting point just because sometimes it's easier to hear the most out of phase position as opposed to the most in phase. So let's try that. So you can hear over in this area, we are losing all the bottom end of our snare. So let me just fine tune that a little bit. All right, so right around there sounds really, really bad. So now we'll flip our polarity, which is the same thing as not flipping that and just having the knob over in this section. Let's hear that. And there's all the body of our snare. And let's take a quick look at this on our kick drum. Let me just loop one kick. Okay, so we've got on both of these. Our kick in is just set to zero. And then on our kick out, we have the polarity flipped and then we've got the phase rotated negative 23 degrees. So let's just pop both of these in and out and hear the difference. So if you're listening on headphones or good speakers, you should be hearing that there's a lot more low end and punch with those on. So finally, let's just take a look at all of our drums and we will put the Evo in, in and out to compare the difference on the full drum mix. So again, the drums just sound so much more full and thick with those in. And this is on drums that were pretty close to being in phase before we put these plugins on. So if you're working on a song where the phase of the different mics is really fighting each other, this will make an even bigger difference. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you want to see more cool plugin reviews, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you want to learn more about this plugin, I'll put a link to the company's website in the description.